Hey everyone, it's about 2 in the morning here. I can't sleep. So, let's talk about residual income. Hey everyone, it's Leo, currently driving to the gym. Uh, but on the way there, I want to talk a little bit about residual income because that's what I think about when I go to the gym. Uh, so residual income, uh, basically put, is the notion that you would be making money in your sleep or not having to put a lot of time and investment into making your revenue or your income, uh, thus residual. And the reason I want to talk about it is because I've been having a lot of my friends approach me about their multi-level marketing structures, which is awesome. I'm all about that. I'm all about anything that has to do with business, but multi-level marketing is particularly interesting because it revolves around the notion, multi-level marketing that is, revolves around the notion that you would acquire more associates uh, and get them to join your company or corporation and you would be making residual income based off a commission structure from what they sell in terms of products, services, subscriptions, sometimes prepaid services. Uh, but the most enticing thing that everyone keeps pitching to me is the notion of you will make money in your sleep. You will make residual income. But one thing that uh, was a little off-putting for me was almost their their trapped notion that residual income is limited to multi-level marketing. And I personally know this to not be particularly true. I guess, in my opinion, a very really good resource to check out if you do want to go a little bit more into residual income and how you can make some side cash, um, some passive income, is check out the 4-Hour Workweek. The 4-Hour Workweek really clearly illustrates how you can make passive residual income without uh, multi-level marketing, for example. And the way that you do that is you essentially create a company and you can do one of the few things. You can have everything be outsourced, drop shipped, to where you don't have to do anything other than process orders is one way to do it. Uh, another way is to have partners who are in the company for equity and maybe they run the day-to-day -day and then you just had to have set up the structure. Another way is multi-level marketing. You could obviously join a company to where you make a commission structure based off other associates' uh, efforts. Um, you know, or you, or you can kind of do it the way I did where you do a little bit of fusion of all except the multi-level marketing where you set up a company, you make sure it runs, you outsource everything, you digitize you digitalize everything so that it's virtual, and all that's left is essentially just kind of processing the orders, which I then hired out to do. So my job and my involvement in my company is extremely minimal, yet I'm still making a passive income off of that company. So just, uh, I guess in short, passive income, Residual income, side income, awesome stuff. And I think it's something that everyone should look into in this day and age. However, keep an open mind. Uh, be accepting towards all the company structures that are set before you while you search this and while you Google search a few of the terms that I've maybe mentioned in this video. But just as a, as a reference, don't think that it's solely trapped to any one particular structure in business. Multi-level marketing is a great avenue for that, yet it's not the only one. Virtual companies are another great example of them, yet they're not the only one. So whatever you find is most fitting for your talents and your particular skill sets, I'd say go with that. Have some fun with it and uh, enjoy the video.